hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how you can implement react navigation drawer within your react native project and this is a fresh react native app as you can see over here that this is the new layout which comes with react native version 0.60 and this is my package.json so over here you can see that react native version is 0.60.4 so in this package i'm going to install react navigation okay i have another tutorial previously where i have installed react navigation in previous version of react native and over there i have shown you how you can implement the stack navigator over there okay and within this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can implement drawer navigation okay so we are going to implement this drawer navigation which will open a side drawer over here the normal navigation menu which you can see in most of the app so i'm going to implement this and to implement it first we need to install the react navigation package so i'm going to click on this getting started and i'm going to install it and some people have mentioned my previous tutorial that they are facing difficulties to install react navigation to their react navigation project so it will be important for those guys also who are having difficulties installing react navigation on react native version 0.60 or later so as you can see over here that this is the installation guide and over here they have updated the documentation for react native 0.60 and higher okay so right now i can follow the steps over here which is present on the guide so i have copied this npm install react navigation and i have pasted it and hit enter so it has been installed the react navigation package and after that i need to install this react native gesture handler so i have copied the code and pasted it over here hit enter so i have done that and after that over here you can see that for react native 0.60 and higher we need to do this thing for ios and for the android we don't need to do any more steps okay so as you know that react native 0.60 version comes with inbuilt cocoa pod for ios development and after installing the package the port file has updated so we need to update and install the port file dependencies for ios so for that we need to run these commands cd ios so i am in the ios directory currently okay and this is the port file so we need to install the port file dependencies over here so for that i need to type pod install so it has been completed so now i can go back to my project directory okay now check this what else we need to do we need to do nothing over here so now we can go to this draw navigation and over there we can follow the instructions so first of all over here as you can see that this is a functional component present over here so first of all i am going to change it to a class based component i am going to copy the code from here so this app component i am going to make this a home screen component and after that over here i am going to render it within render i will return this code okay so this return statement is within our render and then there is another screen which is setting screen so i am copying it and pasting it over here so we need to import this touchable opacity as i can see that touchable opacity is not fetched so i have imported from react native and after that we need to create the draw navigator so this is the code for draw navigator and i am pasting it so you can see over here that we are using create draw navigator and we need to import it from our react navigation package okay so for that i am importing it from react navigation create draw navigator 
so this is the configuration we are setting the home as home screen and setting screen for setting okay and after that we need to export default create app container draw navigator okay so we need to import this create app container as well so create app container i have imported it and now we need to export create app container and within create app container we will provide this draw navigator and within home screen we need to open this drawer so for that i'm going to copy this code from here or else we have code present over here as well okay so first i'm going to create a view and within this view i'm going to paste this touchable opacity okay so over here you can see this on press and within on press we are passing this props navigation open drawer okay so this will open the drawer when we click on this open drawer text okay so i think i have done all the necessary things over here so now save it once and i will close this metro bundler process and run the react native run ios command for ios okay so our app has been launched so i can scroll it down and over here i can see that open drawer so if i click on it then i can see that our drawer has been opened right and after that i can click on this settings so i'm in the settings page currently so over here i can also do this open drawer and go back to the home screen so this is how you can see that we can implement the react navigation package to our react native app and the react native version is 0 0.60 and higher okay so as you can see that this is a very simple process there is nothing wrong within it and they have updated their installation guide over here and some people have commented in my previous tutorial that those steps are not working over their react navigation is getting some bugs for updated react native versions then i have told them that don't need to panic right now react navigation will update their documentation and after few days it will be stable if there is some error then we can install the previous version which is react native 0.59 version and we can install it and work on over there and currently as you can see that this is a very simple process before we need to do many more things other than installing the packages right now we don't need to do any more steps except for this ios and i think this ios also not so much as you can see that this is a simple command which is a pod install command and this is very convenient in my opinion to use this and i have implemented this open drawer over here and if you want you can implement it like you can give a app bar header over here and within that app bar we can give the menu icon and from the menu we can open the drawer okay and right now i'm going to show you how we can do that uh, but before that i just copy this style and reload it so now we can see that padding has been added over here and we can open the drawer and if we see this for android as well then run this command react native run android hit enter okay so for android our app is launched so over here we can see the open drawer click on it then we can see that our drawer has been opened over here click on setting our setting page has opened and from here we can go back to home screen as well right so this is how we can install the react navigation package and work on it so right now i am going to update it 
I'm going to implement the stack navigator and use the app bar header over here and I will provide the menu icon over there and from the menu icon I want to open this drawer so follow along with me so for that first I'm going to import create stack navigator from react navigation okay because I'm going to create some stack navigator for this home screen and setting screen so for that I'm creating forms home navigator create stack navigator and within this i'm going to paste this command and after that here i'm going to paste some navigation bar configuration which i have explained in my previous tutorial if you haven't seen that tutorial i will encourage you go ahead and see that tutorial for a stack navigator in-depth tutorial i will link that tutorial in the i button and the description below so I have pasted it so I have added this navigation option for this home stack navigator so similarly I need to create the setting navigator for setting screen so I am going to copy this code And paste it over here and make this setting navigator and it will be setting screen right and the title for this will be setting so now within this drawn navigator we need to pass this home navigator for home and for settings we need to provide this setting navigator now i have saved it and check this for android first reload it okay so there is error i have used this icon and within this icon i will open this drawer so this icon i haven't imported it i have already installed the react native vector icons package to this react native project and I have a dedicated tutorial for that as well so I will encourage you if you don't know how to import these react native vector icons or you are facing some difficulties in updated react native version currently then you can go ahead and see that tutorial over there that tutorial is recorded previously for react native version 0.59 but in that pin comment I have updated the steps for the latest react native versions as well okay so you can get help from there so i need to import this icon over here import icon from react native vector icons and i have used ion icon so saved it and reload it so now i can see that there is a menu icon and this is our app bar header so if i click on this menu then i can see that our drawer is opening from there and if i click on settings then we can see that for settings as well we have added this app bar header and over here we have this icon so that's how we can navigate and add stack navigator and drawer navigator both within our package so now check this for ios as well so over here i have reloaded the app and now i can see that it has the app header and our drawer is opening from there okay and we can go to the setting so this is how we can implement drawer navigator and stack navigator of react navigation package within our react native version 0.60 so i hope you like this tutorial and you have learned something new from this i hope this tutorial helped you to understand how we can implement these things in our project so if you like this tutorial then give this tutorial a thumbs up and let me know by commenting down below and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this i have dedicated tutorial playlist for react native and i have dedicated tutorial for react navigation as well so if you haven't checked those yet i will encourage you go ahead and check those tutorials as well 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos so have a great day goodbye